Well, even though the progress is slow, things are coming along nicely. I've got two of the three walls in there demolished. I need two more. I need that third one completely gone, and then I can work on the opposite side of that wall. And then, of course, there's another exterior wall, and then I can fully tear that apart. And then I can tear apart the wall next to the bedroom. You know, the progress is slow, but it is progress. And that's okay, because I can really feel my body getting beaten up by doing this, so... I take it slow and reminded myself that I actually haven't had time to visit anything out here. So I just took a drive out to Errol, visited LL Coats, and uh, you know walked around for a bit. Got myself a uh, buffalo chicken wrap for lunch. I like that little patch of flowers coming in over there. I think uh, next week I'll get a lawn mower and uh, tidy up the lawn a bit. I mean, the lawn needs help, but I can't let it get out of hand either. So. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I just had to remind myself, you know, I'm doing this one day a week so far. And then not till mid-June will I be here full-time. So, gotta, gotta take it in stride. And, boy, I'm really glad I went down to Arrow. That was... That's a hell of a ride. The Dixville Notch is a hell of a drive. And I can't wait to take my bike down there. Once I'm, uh, once I'm up here full-time, I cannot wait to ride my bicycle up there. It's gonna be a challenge, but... Yeah, I, I can do it, I think. <laughs> so it was beautiful I didn't take any video of it because A it was way too beautiful B I don't have a tripod with me so I'm taking all this on my phone right now and it was uh, it was gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I had to remind myself you know I, despite the setbacks here at the house the cabin <laughs> really um, despite the setbacks from uh, from the rather incompetent person that threw this together um, oh my is that a oh I don't think you can see it there's a I think there's a chipmunk there. Let's see, can we... Look at that. Yeah, look at him. So despite my setbacks, it's still very, very beautiful here. And there's just a little guy right there, just a... Uh... That's a squirrel, I think. Whatever, it's kind of cute. I like it. Just remind myself, despite the setbacks, you know, just a better learning curve. Whoa, sorry. Just a bigger learning curve, that's all. And I, it made me really glad I moved out here, just to just to drive through there and enjoy that. It was really, really something. And I get to see this little guy here. He's out here. Hopefully he's not eating the ant poison. <laughs> I don't think he is, but you never know. Oh, he's probably digging up, digging up old stuff, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Oops. Whoa, sorry, I had to scratch my nose. I'm on 10x zoom on my phone, so it's going to be a little exaggerated here. But yeah, look at that. And that little flower patch there, I definitely want to keep that. And the dandelions that are growing. I love all the dandelions that are growing out here. Really very, very pretty. Really peaceful. And I know there's road noise. That's fine. I grew up and lived in New York City my whole life. So while the road noise can be a little bit much at times, I know a way to fix that. <laughs> Not going to do it this year, but probably next year I intend on uh, intend on erecting, erecting an eight-foot fence. Oh, did he just notice me? No, he hasn't noticed me yet. He's, he's busy. Look at him. Oh, maybe he noticed me now. Oh, yeah, see, I mentioned it. <laughs> uh, but just need to remind myself one day at a time. It's not going to be perfect right away. Not going to be perfect right away. But that's okay. We can make it perfect. I can't buy luxury, but I can certainly build it eventually. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So those are 2x4s that are framing this house, by the way. Which means I'm going to have to frame it out with one by twos to give me the five and a half inches I need for the R20 insulation and R21 insulation. That's all right. I can live with that. I need to drywall the place. I'm gonna to need to OSB the place. So my plan is for the siding is I'm going to put up OSB sheathing. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a, like a Tipar or a Tyvek wrap. And then I'm gonna put a T111 siding on it. Do like a fake log siding, put it horizontal and uh, paint it, paint it a red color. Uh, I'm still looking at it, I'm considering my options. Or maybe like a deep, you know, forest brown type of thing. And then I plan on, uh, <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, but I plan on using the uh, actual log chinking, um, log jam, in the horizontal uh, screws. Whoa. In the horizontal grooves, um, and make it like, really look like log siding. And hopefully that'll get me through a couple of years so I can save up money to get some really nice siding, eventually. Um, but I just want to get up some siding so I can stop the water ingress. 
and uh, get the OSB siding up so I can uh, and figure out what's going on with that floor over there so I can I can seal this place up with some good uh, with some good um, sealing foam and that should really stop the ingress of a lot of things that are uh, that's happening there um, it's just kind of disappointing to me that nobody in the past 10 years even bothered to look at this you know it's um, it's really really disappointing well this is probably done around 2007, 2010, so yeah, about 10 years. Just nobody who's lived here or built here uh, just uh, ever bothered to just even look at what was going on. Which is disappointing, it's sad. But we can fix it. We can make it better. I may change my plans about raising the ceiling. Um, I still think I'm going to raise the ceiling, but I may not raise the floor. Because looking under the floor, I'll, I'll take you guys under the floor today. Um, we're going to lift up one of the sheets of OSB that are uh, on the floor. I think under the floor isn't a concrete pad, oddly enough. Um, and despite the concrete clearly jutting outside of the, uh, the side of the cabin, I think it's just dirt down there, and I don't think there's any uh, vapor barrier underneath it. So that would be disappointing, but it wouldn't be a surprise considering the chuckle fuck that actually made this place. <laughs> it would not surprise me at all. There's, there's a lot of things wrong. There's a lot of things very, very wrong. There's a couple of scary things with the electrical outlets. Um, there's uh, one electrical outlet that I've actually turned off the uh, breaker to because of its, uh, its proximity to water and how exposed the wires are to that possible water ingress. So I got that, uh, I got that turned off. That's okay. I can live with that for now. I can fix that. That's no big deal. This guy is just having a field day. Look at him. Yeah, man. You go. You, you eat. Just don't die. I don't want to clean up a corpse, you know? I'll clean up ant corpses all day. Right. I'm happy to genocide those fuckers, but you, you know, you look cool. So, anyway, just wanted to get my thoughts out there, where I'm at. Remind myself that, yes, you know, progress is slow, but it's progress. Even if it is still demolition, it's still progress, you know? I mean, I got a quote from a guy, he said 15000 for the demolition. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And it's because it's all just, uh, it's all uh, knotty pine, um, but it's all nailed in. And it's nailed in super, super tight. I mean, it's just physically killing me to take this stuff out. I tried using the, uh, I tried using my reciprocating saw. I can use that for a little bit, but it's such a, it's such a pain in the butt to get the saw through the uh, wood that it just eats through the batteries. And I probably should consider getting a wired, uh, hardwired uh, reciprocating saw because the battery situation with that is just stupid. Um... Or get more batteries, I guess. I don't know. One or the other. Hey, focus on the cute thing. What are you doing? There we go. Look at that. Yeah, focus on him. Yeah, focus on him. Right there. Look at that. Yeah. And he's just uh, he's just having a field day. By the way, it's like 90 degrees outside, and people out here are like, oh my god, it's so hot. And I mean, yeah, it's warm. For sure. Definitely, definitely unseasonably warm, but like, you yeah, know, I've lived there worse. And the humidity out here is just so great. Oh God, I love the no, no, no humidity. Humidity doesn't exist. <laughs> it's amazing. God, after spending my life in New York City and the East Coast, the Atlantic, people, people don't understand just how, how miserable the humidity on the East Coast can be. They really don't get it. Um, I know a lot of people on the West Coast are like, oh, we have humidity, and you just, you really don't have it like we have it on the East Coast. It's a different beast a different beast like I, I really feel like the Atlantic Ocean like I feel like the Pacific Ocean is like kind of like the cool chill fun ocean <clears throat> you know and I feel like the Atlantic Ocean is actively trying to kill you <laughs> plus I mean it's just it's 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 a different it's it's a different kind of humidity I don't know how to explain it unless you've experienced it it's just um it's totally different I I, I wish I could explain it to you I wish if you have if you've grown up on the east coast and you've experienced like either the New York City, you know, dog days of summer, or um, or down the coast, down in the uh, down in the Virginia and the Carolinas, um, and even you know even Georgia, Florida, even if you experience you know humidity down there, um, you know what I'm talking about. And and if you've gone out to the West Coast and you've gone out to the West Coast on a humid day, it's it's not the same. I wish I could explain. And the, and the humidity out here is just it's great, man. There's no humidity in the mountains. Come on. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah, so, man, so driving around with the windows down at 90 degrees outside, you know, in New York, I'd be dying. I'd be absolutely dying because of the humidity. 
But out here, man, I got the sun blaring on me, and I'm just loving it. It feels great. It feels amazing. I, I'm sure losing, you know, 150, almost 170, almost 170 pounds now, actually. I'm sure losing that had something to do with it, too. But, oh, man, you can feel the breeze coming here, too, and it's just, it's great. Plus, I got a river right next to me. So I got that cool little breeze that comes off the river sometimes. Then I get to look at things like this. Oh, I saw a, um, I saw a munchak deer out here. That was weird. He was just crossing the road. Mm, that's cool. You can tell it's a munchak because it looks like a mutant deer. Oh, like these weird scent glands in front of its eyes. That was pretty cool. This guy, what is this guy doing? He's just, he's just having a field day, man. He's like, I gotta eat. So I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Was he staring at me? Did he finally notice me? I think he noticed me. Eh. There we go. Ah. Alright. Well, I'm going to enjoy my buffalo chicken wrap and enjoy this day. Because, uh, you know what? I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> but I'm going to enjoy this day. I'm going to enjoy the little bit of wildlife I got here. And uh, I'm just going to take a break from demoing because I, I actually haven't come out here and just enjoyed anything. It's either been rainy or, uh, or you know, or I've just been demoing inside. So I'm just going to sit outside and, and enjoy myself for a little bit. You know? And then one day, I'm going to erect that 8-foot fence and make it an acoustic fence. And uh, take care of those noises. <laughs> so. <clears throat> also take care of the neighbors staring at my lawn. They've got a huge... Uh, I got a huge RV that just looks overlooks my uh, my property now, and it's like it's kind of weird. It's kind of uncomfortable, but whatever. I'm actually more concerned about the noise than them. Their RV actually blocks a lot of sound, so that's kind of cool. Hey, guy. Hey, bud. So yeah, got a lot of things I need to do, a lot of decisions I need to make, but all of them technical things, not uh, not life changing things. So that's pretty cool. All right. Talk to you later. Talk to you in a bit. I'll show off some stuff to you, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if I can hold this steady while I try to press the stop button.